Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel on the Cutting Map Studio, where today I will show you how to make the lemon drizzle dress and top pattern. This pattern comes with two variations, a dress and a top. They both feature a fun tie-back detail and adjustable straps. The top is cropped, so it's best to wear it with high-waisted trousers or skirts. The dress has an open back and a gathered skirt with an elasticated waist. Both versions have fully lined bodices. You can also find a PDF on how to add an additional ruffle on Etsy. And you can also see how to make it on this video. If you're interested in this or any of my other patterns, check them out on Etsy with the link below. All of my patterns come with fully written instructions and some have videos as well, like this one. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Before starting to sew, make sure to interface the main bodice pieces, one, two and three. Pin together the bodice front center with the bodice front side at the side. Stitch together. on the other side. Backstitch at the beginning and the end. Make sure you're sewing with a 1.5 cm seam allowance. Bodice back center tie with the bodice back side at the sides stitched together. Repeat on the other back pieces. Make sure that the pattern piece is laying like it's shown on the instructions. Together the bodice front side with the bodice back side and stitch. Repeat on the other side. all the seams open. Stitch together the lining pieces in the same manner as the main bodice. Pin together as many pieces.
pieces as I can to make sewing it quicker. together the lining with the same steps as the main bodice you have to press under 1.5 cm on the lower edge of the bodice lining if making version B the top you also have to do this on the main fabric you can make a little snip by the seam to make it easier to turn this up
for the dress. So two basing stitches on the skirt front within the seam allowance. You know this is the front because it has a normal corner. Gather the skirt front until it matches the length of the bodice front where you've pressed up the fabric. Fold down the top of the skirt back by 1cm and again by 1cm. Top stitch close the bottom edge of the fold. You'll know it's the back because it has an extra little corner. Make sure you're working on the wrong side of the fabric. one pocket section to each side edge of the front skirt and back skirt matching notches stitched together with a 6mm seam allowance from the top to the bottom of the pocket. Make sure you're placing the pocket on top of the skirt with right sides facing. Repeat these steps on the other pockets as well. Press the pocket away from the skirt. Grab your elastic and pull it through the channel you made in step 7. Stitch in place on one end. Put a safety pin on one end of the elastic and pull it through the channel. the back skirt becomes a similar width to the front skirt piece. Base this end closed. Stitch the skirt front and skirt back together at the sides leaving open between the large circles. Pin the pocket edges between the large circles and sew. Then clip into the seam allowance above and below the pocket. Start pinning at the bottom of the skirt, matching the notches.
Dip into the seam allowances above and below the pocket. Turn the pockets towards the front skirt along the seam lines and press. Repeat this on the other side. For both versions, to make the straps of the dress and the top, press in both edges along the fold lines by 5mm and press. Fold the strap in half and press again. Sew a line of stitching close to the edge and repeat on the other edge. along the line marked on the pattern. Now you'll have a piece that is 16 meters long and a longer one and repeat these steps on the other strap as well. Thread one end of the long strap piece through the slider. Fold it over so that the wrong sides are facing each other and stitch a secure seam. Use a small straight stitch and stitch back and forth. Grab a ring or another slider. I don't have a ring, so I'm going to use another slider. And slide it to the other end of the strap. You don't need to worry about that right now. Slide the ring over the unstitched edge of the strap. Bring the unstitched end up towards the slider so that the insides are facing each other. Thread your strap up and through the slider. Keep pulling the unstitched edge until you end up with a loop. Just made the slider. Take the short piece and loop it through your ring. Pin this in place. Repeat these steps on the other strap. Take the short bit of the strap and place it on the seam between the back and the back center pieces of the bodice with right sides together. Line up the edge of the strap and add the bodice. Base them place. Line up the open end of the strap with the knot on the front side bodice piece and base them place. Repeat with the other strap. Pin the lining to the bodice at the top and the sides. Stitch in place. Match up all the seams.
the hem of the bow closed, leaving the bottom open on the front bodice. On the lining, this is where you've pressed up the seam. We 
bright ties together pin front skirts to open bodice at the waistline, distributing the gathers on the front evenly. Stitch and trim the seam around. Press seam towards bodice. This is the back with the elastic. And this is the front where the gathering stitches are. You'll be pinning this bit to the bodice. Make sure you're only pinning and not the lining, which is pressed up. Sew this in place and then trim the seam allowance. Press the seam towards the bodice. Make sure you're only sewing to the main bodice and not the lining. If not, unpick the basting stitches and pull on the elastic to make it tighter. This is why you press the bottom hem up earlier. Stitch the bottom closed. You can also top stitch all around the bodice.
only follow these steps, so I think a ruffle at the bottom of the skirt. Grab one of the ruffles and start to mount the face and the top. Make sure to start 1.5 cm in from the edge to that bristle. Stop 1.5 cm before the edge of the fabric. the ruffle pieces along the short edges to make a long loop. Make sure that the thread from the basing stitches is out of the way in this in place and so and the loop on the other end. sound open. Match it to the other side too. And then find the fold. We are going to be using the portion method to put the ruffle onto the skirt. Once you've found the seams and match them up, find the center of the ruffle either make a little snip or use a pen to mark it. You can use it on the other side as well. Then do the same in the skirt pieces as well. Make sure you can work with right sides together. Just pull on the gathering stitches until the match the length of the skirt. Congratulations, you did it! 
finish the top, which I didn't show in this video, check out the link in the description where I'll link the video to the top. And also, please check out my Etsy shop and my patterns. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comments below. And I'll hope to see you next time.